Hello, hello. Today let's talk about the camera system of your Apple iPhone 13 Pro. Wow, this is the best camera system I ever seen before. Macro, standard, and whoa, so far away objects you can take photos and videos with that camera system because the Pro camera system gets its biggest upgrade ever on iPhone 13 Pro with next level hardware that captures so much more details, super intelligent software for new photo and filmmaking techniques and a mind-blowing fast chip that makes it all possible. It will change the way we shot videos and photos because macro photography comes to the iPhone Wow, that's awesome. That means the new ultra wide camera can focus at just two centimeters. It's making even the smallest details seem epic. Wow, and macro videos, yeah. Macro is still are just only the beginning. No, we can also shoot macro videos, including slow motion and time lapse. We prepare to the best mesmerized. And we bring on the night. The iPhone 13 Pro was made for low light. The white camera adds a wider aperture and our largest sensor jet. And it leverages the lighter scanner for night mode portraits. Two times um, and two more lights for better photos and videos too. 92% more light for better photos and videos too and the night mode now um, on every cam. Sharper, more detailed photos and videos in any light. And three times optical zoom on telephoto for close and close-ups and six times optical zoom range across the system. We shift the focus up to the drama by using the cinematic mode. Oh, and we can have, have an own look if we like. We shot it, we cut it, everything is possible. We have a lot of camera power here in this iPhone 13 Pro. We have on the left upper side here, this is a telephoto camera, a 77 millimeter focal length, three times optical zoom, 2.8 aperture, focus pixels, six element lenses, OIS. Then there's more because we have an ultra wide camera. This over here, this is the ultra wide camera. 30 millimeter focal lens, 1.8 aperture, faster sensor, focus pixel, six element lenses, and here there it is the wide. 26 millimeter focal lens, 1.9 micrometers pixels, 1.5 aperture, 100 person focus pixels, and element, seven element lenses, sensor shift OIS. These three most powerful cameras ever on a smartphone, and that's right. And this is built in our iPhone 13 Pro. Yeah, this, this is really awesome. It's, it's so awesome because this camera makes so brilliant, awesome pictures and videos too. But start with the pictures. And the camera system, we have the Pro camera system is 12 megapixel, telephoto wide and ultra wide cameras. We have a telephoto 2.8 aperture, a wide 1.5 aperture and a ultra wide 1.8 aperture and 120 degrees of field of view. Three times optical zoom in, two optical zoom out, six times optical zoom range, a digital a digital zoom up to 15. Night mode portraits enabled by LiDAR scanner. Portrait mode with advanced bouquet and depth control. The portrait lighting with six effects. Nature, studio contour, stage, stage mono, high key mono. And a dual optical image stabilization, telephoto and wide. A sensor shift optical image stabilization in wide. Six element lenses, telephoto and ultra wide. Seven elements lens in wide. True tone flash with slow sync. Panorama up to 63 megapixel. This, um, the sapphire crystal lens cover for protection. 100 person focus pixels in wide. Night mode, diffusion, smart HDR4, photographic styles, macro photography, Apple Pro Raw, wide color capture, photos and live photos, lens correction, ultra wide, advanced red eye correction, photo geotagging, outer image stabilization and burst mode. Image format will be HEIF and JPEG. And this we can choose. 
really awesome because before we start and having fun with that camera, let's go to settings, settings, and then not the home screen. And then we go down to the camera system. Okay, here at camera. And now we can use um, options in it for formats. High efficiency is possible and the most compatible is the Op, um, it's an option to reduce the file size. We capture photos and videos in the high efficiency format. The most compatible will always use JPEG, okay? And we can use Apple Pro Raw. This show camera control for Pro Raw is a 12-bit file that used the Linear DNG format to retain more information and dynamic range in the file, providing additional flexi flexibility when editing exposure and white balance. This is awesome. Record videos. That means this is a preset which we will deliver uh, deliver in while we are using the camera, okay? Of course, we can edit, this, uh, edit it in the camera option too. We have the possibility 720p HD at 30 frames. But 30 frames, I think it's not good because your, um, your eyes see a floating picture or floating um, video because a, um, a video is only um, photos in a line. And 30 frames, your, your, your eyes can see that it's not so good, not so fluid, okay? Then in, it's better, I think, because all of my videos, on my, nearly all of my videos on my channel are 1080p, HD at 60 frames. So H, uh, that means 1080p HD means the pixel and 60 frames means 60 frames per second. And of course, you can go up to 4K at 60 frames. But take care, only one minute of video content will need 40 megabyte with 720p. But with 4K, it will cost you 400 megabyte. That's a really lot of uh, bat uh, not battery storage. So the medium way is 1080p at 60 frames. But this is only my, ch my choice. You can show, uh, choose as you like. Then we can show the Paul format. Paul is a television video format used in many countries in Europe, Africa, Asia, and South America. So um, and that's not state of the art, I think, because the Paul and NTFS formats are not a state of the art. It's but if you need them, you can enable it here. But you do not need it so much. HDR videos. It records two 60 frames video in 10 bit high dynamic range, including Dolby Vision. Of course, on Apple device, it looks really awesome. But if I am moving that files to to YouTube, for example, then the artificial intelligence between the HDR video makes the colors not so so I like them. So I disable the HDR video, but maybe in the future it will be better. Here's the option for it. Out of FPS, automatically reduce the frame rate to improve the low light video and optimize the file size. You can choose this automatic mode at 30 frames or 30 and 60 frames, but I'm using it off. That, that's your choice. The outer frame rates will reduce the frame rates to 24 frames to improve the low light video and optimize the frame rate of 60 frames video based on scene motion. Apply the outer FTS only 30 frames video or both 30 and 60 frames if you like. Then we have here uh, lock the camera. We do not automatically switch between cameras while recording videos. Hmm. If you need it, you can enable it. But I like to zoom between all or through all cameras. Then that was the pre third settings. We can record in stereo sound. We can uh, record slow motion. That means here you can choose 1080p in 120 frames or 240 frames. Of course, 240 frames is more smooth than 120, but take here a minute, cost as 480 megabyte. If we choose 120 frames, only 170. 
but it looks better with 240. We can work on stereo sound and here, here and now, now the preserve settings. We can let the preserves um, the latest or the last mode such as video rather than automatic reset to the photos. I enable that because um, the most time I'm using the camera mode, the video camera mode. Or we can creative controls. We preserve the last used filter aspect ratio, light or depth settings rather than automatically reset. Exposure adjustment. Preserve the exposure adjustment rather than automatically reset and always show the exposure adjustment indicator than night mode. Preserve the night mode setting razor then automatically resetting night mode to auto and the same in portrait mode preserve the portrait mode to zoom razor then automatically preset okay and live photos is the same but i enable live photos because i'm not using live photos so often i choose live photos for for example like a gif and if i would like to make a live photo i will enable this by using my photo app okay but this is the same preserve the live photo settings rather than automatically reset to live photo turned on so that is the preserve settings use a volume app to burst that is here the volume app button okay then we can use QR codes. We can scan QR codes by while we are using our photo app. Live text grid. This will get us a grid on our screen while we are um, taking a video. Mirroring front camera. If you like it, you can mirror it. View outside the frame. I think this is a little bit more naturally if I can see all the screen and all the outside of the frame of it. and. I think it's it's better. You can choose by your own. Here are photographic styles. Okay, photographic styles um, personalize the look of our photos to bringing us preferences into the capture. Photographic styles use advanced scene understanding to apply the right amount of the adjustment to different parts of the photo. And this is really awesome because your skin looks really naturally. It is not like a filter. It is it is the next. Step of styles. Oh yeah, you can choose your own. Here uh, you can choose them. Priority fast shooting. Intelligently adapt image quality when rapidly pressing the shutter. And lens correction. Correct the lens distortion on the front and ultra wide cameras. These are all the settings you can adjust before you start recording. And this will give you um, an edited and um, prepared thing to make good uh, videos because the I think the iPhone comes to you in another option here. I think it was 720p at 30 frames. Okay, so take care and set this to a standard what you like. Go back to the to camera system here. The camera system is all, not only awesome for photos. It's it's for video recording too. And it's so nice for video recording. Cinematic mode for recording videos with shallow depth of field, 1080p 30 frames is possible. HDR videos um, uh, in 4K are possible with 60 frames. 4K videos are possible up to 60 frames too. 1080p up to 60 frames, 720 in 30 frames. You should, I saw, you saw it eh? in, the, in the options you can, um, adjust that. The ProRes video recording up to 4K at 30 frames are possible. Dual optical image stabilization for videos, telephoto and wide. Sensor shift optical image stabilization for, for videos too in the wide camera setup. Three times optical zoom in, two times optical zoom out, six times optical zoom range. The digital zoom up to nine times. The audio zoom is possible. Two tone flash. Quick take video, slow motion video supports 1080p at 120 and 240 frames. Time lapse videos with stabilization, night mode time lapse. Cinematic video um, stabilization in 4K 1080 and 720. Continuous out of focus videos. We can take 8 megapixel still photos while recording 4K videos. Wow. Playback zoom. Video format records is HEVC and H264. And stereo recording is possible if you like. 
And now, how we can make videos and photos with that system here. We choose the camera app. Here's the camera app. We can make the camera using upright, okay, but you can rotate, the, rotate this camera system like this better. I think it's better so. And now we have a look what's going on here. On the left upper side, we can choose the frame rate, okay, to 30, to 60, for example, to 60, to 60, HD, 4K, 4K HD, okay, you can set this. Then have a flash option on the left side, bottom left side. We can go to automatic and we can make to switch off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Then, of course, we have here the three options of the camera setup. Zoom in. Yeah. And we can do this by using our fingers here. Up to nine times. Up to 0 0.5 to 30 millimeters. We can do this by gesture too. Oh yeah, and of course we have more options if we are getting this here. Flash option on, off or automatically. And here on the on the upper side, that's the exposure, which is possible to um, adjust. Awesome. And of course, focus, we can make manually take the focus here and the brightness level. That's possible too. So that's the the main thing but let's start on the bottom side time lapse videos three times of camera setup oh yeah you cannot swipe that's not possible we only can go through the cameras three of them here exposure setup two possible and um then make a time lapse video that makes videos or content which is a long a long time okay to a short take okay for example growing uh, here a flower is rising up at the morning and go down at the um, dusk then it will make a time lapse of it and you can see that job's done next mode slow motion easy that's awesome here you can zoom in and zoom out the same then of course you have options flash and here the good old exposure then we have uh, the possibility of 240 and 120 frames okay then we can use all the camera systems here okay then we go to cinematic cinematic mode is really awesome because we can zoom in as you can see two times or one time and in that um, in that mode we can focus, take focus on two subjects. This is not in focus, this is right now in focus. Here now it's, it's focus and you can see here is a frame. That means if there are two, two hats, two faces, it will automatically take them into focus. And if the, um, the person is turned around, it does not look into the cam, it will be automatically turn the focus to the other object or to the other face. This is a really awesome storytelling cinematic mode. That's awesome, really awesome. And this goes automatically. And if you like, in post-production, you can make a production or an edit after the production. So next thing, here is video again, photo. Photo, there are a lot of um, things what we can change. First time, of course, the camera. Yeah, of course, we can zoom in and zoom out 15 times and out to 0.5. Then, of course, we have here the same setup like before. We can go flash here, live photos, switch on, automatic or off. Then we have here the dimensions of, of the photos. 1 to 1, 4 to 3, or 16 to 9. This I, I, I like uh, more. 16 to 9 is a standard which comes so many televisions out there. Then here, the exposure, of course. Here is a timer, 3 seconds or 2 seconds. And there's more filters. The good old filters, dynamic, silverstone, nor, all here is that filters are possible. So you can see, you can make so much with it. Okay, you can take a photo by using 
your uh, volume up or volume down buttons or you are using that um, button here. This is the same in all options and all things. Portrait mode. This is really awesome um, because the portrait mode is specially for, for faces. And you can make here a little bit studio light in it, you make um, contour light on it, you can make a stage light. Of course, the face has to be the focus here and all the face will be clear. The other is not so clear and this is, looks really, really great. Then we have panorama up in the up, upside. Then we go push, push the button and we can move around a 360. Of course, we can choose all three camera systems to get there and to make this. These are the really awesome camera system on this iPhone 13 Pro. But there is more. Over here, here's the other camera system built in. This is the true depth camera with 12 megapixel, a 2.2 aperture, a portrait remote with advanced bokeh and depth control, a portrait lightning with six effects, natural studio contour stage, stage mono, high key mono, and emoji and memoji support, night mode, deep fusion, smart HDR4, photographic styles, Apple Pro RAW, cinematic mode for recording videos with shallow depth of field, 1080p at 30 frames, then HDR videos recording with Dolby Vision up to 60 frames and 4K, and of course 4K videos up to 60 frames, 1080 up to 60 frames, ProRes videos um, up to 4K 30 frames. Slow motion video supports in 1080p and 120 frames. That's enough because it's a, it's a camera which looks to you. It is my, it's a selfie camera, okay? Time lapse video with stabilization, night mode, time lapse, cinematic video stabilization, quick take video, wide color capture for photos and light photos, lens correction, retina flash, outer image stabilization, and burst mode. And of course, face ID. This is all possible with that camera system, which, which looks to you. So try this. Camera, how we can come there? If we are in any mode where on the right bottom side, or if you are here in the upper right side, these two arrows are, you can push on them and then you are in the true depth camera mode. That means it looks to you now. This is the selfie cam. Oh yeah. This is possible in all directions too, here you can see. And now here we are in video set. You can make videos, really brilliant videos with that, as you can see. That's really, really awesome. Here we can change, of course, it, like before, the frame rate of it. You can choose to 30 frames or 60. You can choose to 4K or HD. Then here are um, here's out of focus on face. That means the artificial intelligence sees that here is an automatic focus. So exposure setup is possible. Oh, awesome. Really awesome. Then the next thing is, oh, I have to push there. Um, we go to the bottom side, time lapse videos. Okay, time lapse. That means a long time of video content will give you and shows you in a small take. That's really awesome. Slow motion videos. Here 120 frames and of course a little bit of options are possible exposure as you can see. Slow motion is the opposite of it. That means a short video or a short moment will be in a long video than cinematic. Here it goes, cinematic stuff. You can see it will focus automatically my face. And if I am now rotating from the scene, out of the scene, it will focus another object with a high um, uh, priority. And of course, it can do that manually, as you can see. Now, the focus is on that iPhone here. Now back to me. Yeah, now back to the, uh, to the device up there. Whoa, that's really awesome. You can make this automatically or in manually. Then video, no, that's the same. You can make video, photo, that's awesome too. Here you can zoom in a little bit and options are available. Flash, night mode, live photo. Here are the 
um, good filter things, but it's are not the filter. It's a it's a smart filters, okay? And these styles will give you a better photo, as you can see here in in uh, life in life. That's really awesome. My my skin is is good. It it will be continue good to be looks good, and the other things um, are changing in wide, rich, cool, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's awesome. So what's more, here we have more options. Yep, yeah. you can change the to square. You can change the four to three and sixteen to nine. Of course, you can make an exposure. Yeah, exposure setup as you can see. Dodge done. Then here's a timer function of 10 seconds and 3 seconds for selfies without um, pressing the trigger. Okay, there's more. The old school filters. Original, then we have vivid, vivid warm, vivid cool, dramatic, blah, 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 blah. so many filters are possible as you can see. These are photos. Now let's have a look at portrait. Portrait, portrait, here's portrait. The portrait mode comes with um, super nice filters and it with a super nice automatic focus on faces. That's really awesome. You can see here on, on the other uh, on only the focus is on my on my face. So next thing is studio light. Next thing is contour light. Next thing is stage light. This makes everything black. <laughs> except me. Then the stage light mono and the stage high key light mono. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This looks really cool. Of course, here are some possibilities to choose. Flash, vertebra, blah, blah, timer, la, la, la. You know them. And panorama. The panorama is only available on this side. So these are really awesome things. But there's more. You can edit videos you can edit photos really nice let's make a example An example to live photos okay here's a live photo you can see the live photo is looping you can choose another option for example this is possible to make a bounce have a look at the dust you can see now it's bouncing or you will long exposure that means the um, the pictures will be um, will be will be constructed together to make a better picture. I like the loop effect if I'm going to use live photos, but you can make more. This is live photos, okay? But you can edit all videos and photos. It's the same. Here you can make a magic stick, and it will be make your video or your photo better automatically. But you can edit it by yourself. Exposure, for example, in post production, brilliancy, highlights, shadows, contrast, brightness, black points, saturations, vibrancy, warmth, tight, sharpness, it looks beautiful, definition, the noise reduction is possible, and vignette. Yeah, a vignette is really awesome because you will get a little black halo around your um, your picture or your video. But there's more possible, okay? Here, this was live photo. This is now the editing. The next thing are filters too. You can make a filter over every photo and every, every video. That's awesome. Then we can make more. We can edit it. So nice, as you can see, we can rotate it, we can mm, rotate it more and tilt it and lift it and shift it. And of course, we can rotate it uh, in a photo way. We can mirror it and these options are possible for videos, for live videos, for live photos, for everything, every material. And in portrait mode, you can make a focus in post-production too. Really awesome. And then you can save this and, um, and then you edited your awesome pictures. Really, really nice. This is a monsterful, wonderful 
photo accurate for the iPhone 13 Pro because it is the best camera system I have ever seen on an iPhone so far. That's that's really that's really so. And you can make videos with a super duper zoom. You can make photos with that, okay? You can zoom on macro so close, so close to only two centimeters. That's the best camera system, and it's it's like in the like a big professional camera. That is a big prof a small professional camera. This is the camera system of the iPhone 13 Pro. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon, soon.